Ladies' man. It's complete. We've arrived for the Grand Council. We've been welcomed by King Willem. How exciting. Big day in King's Landing, everyone. I enjoyed Lord Harmon's company. Harmon Drinkwater. We became friends with Drinkwater. Excellent. Someone to educate my heir. Okay, good intrigue. Let's go for intrigue then. He has 20, but nothing else. How about Sarwin Lindley? Could be okay. Yeah, let's go for... Ooh, but he'd be a good fighter as well. Hmm. I'm going to go for Sarwin. Yeah, let's go for Sarwin Lindley. He can educate her. Uh, the feast is over, and now the council has begun. In earnest, everyone is assembled in the hall with the more notable attendees closest to King William. Lord Eustace Farron proceeds to read out the king's decree. He proposes an invasion sanctioned by the law. An invasion of a foreign land with apparently no claim. I shall wait. I think York is one to speak out. He's a brave man. He'll speak out. A fine initiative. I shall speak in favour. I think we should probably go for in favour. I feel like Yorick kind of likes the glory. You know, he's a brave man. But uh, he is rough. Maybe he'd be angry about this. I don't know. Would it be really that bad? Would it be bad? I don't know. Um, let's go for it then. Let's, let's speak in favour. There's not been much glory to be had at the moment. It seems Lady Paramount Jenna misjudged the mood of the council when she rose to speak against the invasion. Apparently she didn't do such a good job. Poor her. Okay, wait, how old is she? 23. She's a baby. The baby will be an oak heart. An, a dwarf oak heart. What has gone on with the Lannises? The Lannises went completely crazy the last few years. But okay. Um, Lord Eustace Farron. Obviously he's quite a high up important one. He's the master of laws of the Iron Throne. He spoke in favour. Okay, a lot of people seem to like it. Oh, okay. A lot of things just popped up. Piper. In favour. Bolton. In favour, but he rambled a bit. The Tullys, Merrin Tully, question the council. Okay. Um, you know, it's in favour, so the Freys are in favour of it. Um, the Malisters, in favour. Uh, his own son, he was in favour of the invasion. Okay. Sorry, this is going to take a long time. There's a lot of them. Another Bolton. Don't care about him. Let's look at the Fawns then. In favour. It seems like most people are in favour. The Lord Commander Hayford, he spoke in favour. He probably wants glory. He's 44 years old. He needs to get glory before he gets too old. Um, Tom and Karen. Um, he was in favour. Stauntons, don't care. Oh, my own uh, my own kinsman. He came to speak. He delivered a withering attack. He was against the invasion. Okay. Okay, Jesus. Okay, a lot of it pop-ups at the same time here. My daughter... Let's get you one at court, I think. But yeah. Um, Lord Thaddeus seemed particularly excited about the campaign. Okay, so one of the Tyrells. I like the name Thaddeus Tyrell. As a vassal of note, when you came to speak, the council listened intently. Your arguments in favour of King William's planned invasion seemed to resonate with many, with some of the council giving audible shouts of agreement. Still, many sat in silence with division amongst the council still evident. So look at that. Many people persuaded by us. Good job, me. Good job, me. But yeah. Um, after hours of debating, King Willem calls for quiet and then gives a calm and measured speech, giving many sound arguments as to why the invasion is justified. Yep. To be in agreement. Some still seem skeptical, however. I think he's definitely got this. Now everyone has had their say. The council has almost concluded. Having heard all the arguments, King Willem decides to pass the proposed decree into law. He can now freely launch an invasion on whoever he pleases. Yes, glory to the Iron Throne and House Baratheon. I'll see how this pans out for now. Make your displeasure known. Storm out. Ah. Yes, glory to the Iron Throne and House Baratheon. We'll go for that. Actually, we'll see how this pans out. Yeah, we'll see how this pans out. The Grand Council is finally over. The time has come to leave King's Landing for home. What an exciting council. Um, the Tawny. No, we're fine. The war against the tyranny has ended. Mark of the North won. God damn. Stupid, stupid Stark. You're only still in power because of us. Damn you. But yeah, at least this has made him a bit depressed. All these wars and stuff. People just don't like him. The Tawny. No, I'm not going to attend. I managed to chance upon Alyssa's alone in the kitchen. 
Um, make a lewd suggestion. Confess my love. I'm a brave man. Um, Alice backed away from me, blushing and stammering something before rushing off. Okay. Let's continue then. So yeah, we. I just need old stones. What is going on with old stones right now? Old stones will never be finished at this rate. What's this say? I can't see. Master Builder. Mild winter. Yep, nothing really much going on there. There's nothing I can do until it's finished. We're just going to have to wait. Sometimes it takes really long. Sometimes it's really quick. You really can't tell. And we're going to have to wait and see if the Baratheons actually declare war. Does it pop up here? Lone Taken. Great Tournament. Uh, crushed Revolt. Okay, it doesn't pop up here, so we can't actually see. Business Contacts. He's an adulterer. Great Tower. Huh. Okay. I guess because of the architect. I, he did something about that, yes. Okay. Bloody Embargo Wars. Now, these, these, these tournaments are too small. I'm a, I'm a great man. A great man. I need good tournaments. Exciting tournaments. Why can my wife become pregnant? Damn her. I managed to chance upon her. Confess my love. Make a lewd suggestion. I sure know how to cajole a woman. Alyssa and I spent the night making sweet, passionate love. Okay, let's let our love grow. Yep, we fall in love. I still have a lover though, so uh, we we can allow our love to grow. But uh, I apparently still have time for a lover. That's weird. You know, I I love her, but I also have a lover. Hmm. But yeah, okay, the little woman. Yeah, she inherited. Next would be uh, this guy. This well would inherit next. Hold a tawny. I guess I could hold a tawny myself. I don't see much point for now. Okay, here we go. The invasion has begun. He actually did it. He's declared an invasion on Pentos. This reminds me of my Robert Baratheon Let's Play. Okay. Um, shall we help our liege? So Dawn and the Reach are helping. No one else is actually helping. Now is the time to break free. <laughs> we could break free. He has 246,000 men. Maybe we will not choose that one then. Yeah. I've lost a lot of men. I'll not concern myself for now. You know what? Maybe we should join the war. Yeah, let's do it. Let's join. We'll see what happens. Maybe I just won't send any men. But we need a new thing. Have five children. Hmm. Compare God of Virtue. Become exalted among men. I think he wants that. Perfect. Yeah, well, we'll join the war for now, I think. But I'm not going to raise any of our own men. As I rose from bed, I found a small bundle of documents that had been slipped beneath my bedroom door. The documents contained evidence of Lord Tristan II's plan to depose me and to seize the throne. Tristan Sunderland, well, he is pretty strong. He has two high lordships, but then again, he seems to like me. Honest Roth. I must have him arrested. Hmm. Yes, maybe we should be more concerned about him. How about we send someone to go check up on him then? Let's go send someone to look at that, just in case. Okay, plot discovery. Go to uh, the Sisterlands. Just in case. Maybe he is, but I want to make sure. We're not just going to take him. I want to make sure. But yeah, I don't think we, there's any point for us going for independence right now. Yeah, 71,000. I knew it would go down, but still quite a lot. Because he has basically the Westerlands with him as well. And the North's basically underneath him. So basically just the Rivlands isn't coming to join, really. I just don't see the point in sending us men to waste. We kind of like this idea because it means everyone sends their men. Their soldiers go and fight. But our soldiers stay home, get to kind of relax, have a good time. It's kind of nice. Having many lovers is exciting and fulfilling. So much love, so much desire. Okay, break up with Alyssa. Uh, break up with Bethany. Let's break up with the lover. I want to be with my wife. I want to be with her. Yeah, just need her to give me another. I need her to give me a son, please. I need a son. We can't. I, I don't mind having a girl. Obviously, I'm not. I'm not sexist. I mean, in the game though, having a boy is much more useful because people usually respect him more and actually follow him more. While a girl, 
They don't always follow. This is going pretty well, though. Let's see the Magistrate of Pentos. Who is he? Uh, Magister Lofo the Gross. Okay, he's gone over here. He was a glutton. He's a hedonist. Hey, he's not really such a good man. The people probably will be better off. Interesting to see who the Baratheons give it to. But yeah, this is the first time since the Targaryens that we have invaded something. Let's see how this goes. I'm looking forward to when he dies. <laughs> just having his... Uh, just having his inbred son there. Oh yeah, and obviously we have this empire, um, Dothraki. What's he doing? Vazlachi migration. Okay, he's not attacking anyone yet. I want him to invade someone. God damn him! He should. He needs to invade like Marine or something. Oh well, we'll go back. Back to Westeros. Okay, at the moment forty percent the war's going. So yeah, I think he's definitely won. This won't take long. No one went in to help him at all. Poor Pentos. Poor Pentos. Let's see how the AI deals with this. My beloved sister's concerned that she's not married. We'll find you someone nice. Okay, so we can get her married. There's someone we can marry to a Targaryen. Um, can we get matrilineal? I guess we don't really need a matrilineal. Yeah. Most of them are kind of useless. We want a good alliance. Let's go look for a good alliance then. She's my sister after all. Let's go look... For someone. Okay, maybe a brother. Your brother's married. Okay, Tullets. Uh, Tullys. Actually, I'm going to take your land, aren't I? The Tyrells, then. Okay, most of... Uh, he's not had kids yet, though. His wife's 38. Maybe they're not going to have kids then, so maybe he'll inherit. His son will inherit, so maybe... Oh, I need a son, don't I? Not a girl. Sorry. He's already married. How about this one then? This 12 year old Quentin Tyrell. Let's see if they'd accept. Maybe she's a little too old. They would also do a matrilineal, but yeah, I don't want to do that. I think that'd be a, that'd be a good marriage. Then I'll give us a nice alliance in the future. But then again, if the, the Lord Paramount had a baby, then it's possible not. It's a possibility. Okay, his son is already married. He's a 12 year old to know. He should definitely take it. Yeah, so we probably should just give it to his son. That's probably a better one. No, they would not accept a marriage. Well, how about the brother then? The brother's only two years old. Okay, I guess we'll go for the reach then. We'll try this one out. Okay. This one. I need betrothal. Quentin. Where's Quentin? There we go. Perfect. And my sister. I could just go for matrilineal, just because it more. I, I don't want to do because I, I don't have too many. I don't feel like I'm taking. I feel like I'm taking advantage then. But yeah, we'll just, we'll just go for a normal one. It's fine. I just want the alliance really anyway. But that's good. Yeah. So if we get that marriage done, that'd be nice for us. I guess a nicer marriage with the Tyrells. As long as that guy who's the Lord Paramount has no children, as long as he dies before his kids, then we'll definitely get an alliance with them. But we can always cancel it if we want to. And still it's not finished. What is going on here? What is going on here? Ah, I guess we can wait and see. Now, if I remember correctly, the Starks do have a dragon egg somewhere. How many Starks are left? 34 living members. Oh my god. What? 34 living members. <laughs> that is ridiculous. Oh my god. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. So it looks like we've taken Pentos. And uh, the wars are over. So we can hold a tournament again. So Pentos has fallen. Do you have that then? He has Pentos. So you can Kingdom of Pentos. He can give it away to someone if he likes. It'd be cool to see if he does. The High Lord of Pentos. Apparently the lands haven't gone back together yet. Have to wait and see. Now, how? what weak claims do we have? Nothing particularly special there. Like I said, we're going to take the Riverlands all in a bit. He's just creating High Lordships right now. I guess we could make one for the Fingers. Is there anyone in the Fingers I would like to kind of give it to? Now, I control that. Lightwood. I want to keep that piece of land as well. So, I don't see much point. Yeah. It would just create problems if I, if I make it. People will ask for it. So, I don't see much point in making it. 
That's not the problem with the High Lords, people then ask for them. If you have them, people then want them. So you got to kind of give them away. But so far, I feel this series so far has kind of been, as someone said in the comments before, again, it's been ups and downs. You know, one minute is kind of very slow, very quiet. Next minute just explodes into craziness. Kind of goes up and down a lot. Okay, no, these are all small tourneys. Why won't someone invite me to a grand tourney of epic proportions? Revolt against the rule of runestone, okay. Uh, my bastard, son. Let's get you groomed for command. You're pretty good at command stuff. Yeah, you're pretty good marshal. Let's make you good at that, then. So he's about to come to age, then, my bastard, son. We should probably get someone to train him, then, in fighting. Here we go. There we go. It's gone back down. We'll put it on the vassal screen, then. Perfect. I guess I could just hold a tawny. <laughs> okay. Um... Iron Islander Independence. What is going on here then? So just the Iron Isles. So Ganir the Good Greyjoy has declared an independence war. Interesting. Whoa, his son. He does not look very ironborn. His mother was a summer islander. Okay. Let's go back to the independence. So is anyone helping the king right now? Oh, wait, wait, wait. He gave king's land. What the... He gave King's Landing away to the Stockworths? What? Where is the capital? It's over here. He's made Velvet Peak his capital. What the? What is going on with you, Baratheon? No wonder the Ironborn decided to... Now's the time to break free, maybe. I mean, I do want to break free at some point. 54,000. Why would you attack him then, Greyjoy? This seems like a ridiculous thing. 33. I'll not concern myself for now. Yeah, this is kind of what we wanted to see, but I just I have to do it when we know we'll win. We're not stupid. We're not dumb. We'll see if other people join him, maybe. And if other people don't join the king. And if, if he starts winning, we'll go in and join, I guess. But yeah. Okay. Yep, no one's joining. Embargo war, apparently, right now, as well. We just won't con no one else is concerning themselves. Um, Realm's in a state of war. We'll join the war in his offensive and defensive. We're not concerning ourselves for now. He hates us, so he's not going to like us, but you know, who cares? Okay, we need a new spy master. Um, she doesn't like us, but by making her it, that could, yeah, she likes us now, so that's fine. Go to uh, the sister, the sisterlands. That's fine. Okay, Duke of Claims. Still waiting for the claim on the Riverlands. But yeah, it's great that we've kind of snuck into power with the North and the Riverlands, hopefully being ours soon. Proof that Lord Alessandro Pebble has been viciously slandered me. Everyone just keeps trying to, like, get me to hurt the other people. <laughs> Everyone keeps getting me to do stuff like that. I can't see the Greyjoys winning this. I have no idea how this is going to go. I'll have to wait and see. But I can't believe... Uh, what is Tyrell's now known as the Eagle? That seems to be thrown around a lot recently. I don't know if in a, a recent, the last patch maybe it just got thrown around a lot. I can't believe he gave King's Landing to a Stockworth. That's crazy. Morgan Stockworth. He's a really good general though. Sir Denny's for the Vale faction. Who the hell's Denny's? Denny's Aaron. There are Aaron still alive. Ten Aaron still left. God damn them. Why won't they just die? Um, Tawny of Crags, Crown, Crown Crag, whatever it's called, whatever it's called, something or other. Okay, he's he's pretty strong, yeah, because the Belmores. Uh, how about I give you a nice title, you know, um, Mass of the Hunt. How about we give you that? There you go. Love me, please. Love me. Okay, here we go, a Tawny. This is a Tawny. Waxley's. Winken, uh, Wickedon. Wickenden, I guess. But yeah, we'll, we'll go to that tournament. While the wars, everyone's fighting. We'll have a nice little tourney. Just to celebrate. And also, while bloody old stones finish. I can't believe it hasn't finished. I can't believe my wife has not got pregnant. Come on. Let me visit her chambers. Give her a good tumble. I shall ready my horse. Okay, we're against Coleman Elsham. No, we should be beating him. Steady the horse. Hit. A fine hit. Yes, we knocked him off. You want to take... My own brother wants to take the black. 
Well, I guess if I die, she will inherit. Then it's her. Then you. Then it's this girl. And those ones, they already have lots of kids. Look at that. Okay, I guess I can let you take the black. Um, Damon Tollett. Good luck. Damon Tollett has gone to the wall. Joining Jojen Smalls. Okay, interesting. Our next one, Odrin Upcliff. Now, he's a drunkard, so I hope we can do this one. Hit. Okay, something happened over there. Okay, he managed to stay on his horse. Let's hit him again, though. He stayed on his horse. This guy's a hard one to knock down. For a drunk guy, he stays on his horse. State of war. He wants me to join again. Is this different wars or something? What is going on here? It is. There's a host claim for Dawn. Okay, but he's helping them. He's helping the host against Dawn. Why would he do that? Goscoin's host is helping them against them. Um, no. What the hell is going on here? I, again, who is this Gascoigne Martel? Married to Baratheon, so he's helping them because of that. We have a betrothal already. No, they wouldn't do it now. Okay, yeah, that's fine then. Okay, let's look at the reach. Still no baby. Still no baby. I think we're looking good here. But yeah. And we hit him again. And we finally hit him off. 